and welcome to my consulting room. You may or may not be aware, but the European Society of Cardiology meeting is currently on in Barcelona. One of the newsworthy stories breaking from that huge meeting is the release of a trial called the CANTOS trial. The reason why this is so noteworthy is because it's the first trial to demonstrate clearly the role of inflammation and the modulation of inflammation in the process of atherosclerosis and coronary artery disease. In this trial, 10,000 patients with inflammatory markers elevated were given an immunosuppressive agent called kenakinumab, which dampened down their inflammatory response. In the treatment group, there was a clear benefit for cardiovascular events. This was, without question, statistically significant. This was in the setting of LDL cholesterol not being changed at all. The reason why this trial is so noteworthy is it is the first clear evidence we have of a non-cholesterol intervention having an impact on potential outcome, i.e. reflecting some effect on the mechanism of coronary atherosclerosis. Well, this is important. It does point to inflammation being part of the process that affects the arteries, and it points to our ability to be able to modify that inflammation as having a positive effect. One of the unsuspected uh, findings from the trial was that there was a reduction in lung cancer, which was rather remarkable and yet to be explained. But the significance and the headline of this CANTOS trial using an agent called kenakinumab is that it gives us clear evidence over and above LDL cholesterol of alternate mechanisms where we may act to alter the outcome and events within coronary artery disease. Will we be seeing this new treatment on the shelves of supermarkets near you anytime soon? Well, probably not just yet. There's still plenty of work to be done. First of all, there were some side effects documented and with lowering of the inflammation response, lowering of the immune response, some patients developed infections at a greater rate than would be expected. The other thing is that these new agents, or canakinumab in particular, could cost somewhere between $100,000 and $200,000 per annum for treatment. So maybe just a little while before we've got it regularly at the supermarket near you. However, watch this space and it is good vindication for those who have believed inflammation to be a significant contributor to the process of atherosclerosis. So all power to them and a fantastic opportunity to watch a new era of investigation and development occur.